Hey guys, this is kind of a surprise unboxing. I mean, I know what's in here, but I don't really know. So, I saw this doll like at 10 o'clock Wednesday night, the day they released me from the hospital. So, I was so heavily medicated. So, I remember ordering the doll, but I don't really remember what she looks like. And I have this prissy lady. Cece. Mm-hmm. Now you won't act like you got some sense because the camera's on. So, she's been in a little pissy mood for the past couple of days since the time changes. So... Usually around 4, 4.15, she's very evil and vocal. But she says she's going to behave herself, right? And you're going to help me unbox this doll. So, it might be in a few pieces because I can only stand for a few minutes before my legs start to give out. I might have this thing on backwards. Okay, here we go. See this? This is the craziness that I have to deal with. Cece. <laughs> Thank you. Let me open the box, Cece, and then you can have it. Just wait. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm taking too long. Too long to open this box for you. Gosh, you are so bossy, young lady. Out of all the cats I've ever had, she is definitely the most vocal and just bossy in general. Everything is hers. She don't care. <sighs> Virgo kitties. Okay, so I think this is the way. Um, it's gonna take two. I don't know which is the front of the back, so I'm just gonna pull it out. So see, see, see. The box. It's coming. Impatient, somebody. Here. Cece. Don't you mess with my bubble wrap. Go down there. Crazy cat. Okay. A lot of bubble wrap. What she wants is this bubble wrap. See? This is what she wants. Forget the box. If it has bubble wrap in it, that's what she really wants. So, I'm going to get this for her. <sighs> Crazy cat.
Okay, I'm gonna take a break for a few minutes and then we're gonna see who's in here. Okay, so we have some special people helping me with this unboxing of an Azone original doll. So we have CJ, Kasima, Tia, and Miss Kalia. And last but not least, Miss Nishi. This package I have had since October 13th. I know what's in it, but for whatever reason, I have not done an unboxing of it yet. So we're going to include that in this unboxing. Ooh. 50 seconds in and I'm already getting tired. Wow. But we're going to continue. So we're going to go ahead and get this doll unboxed. See what she looks like. And basically see if I'm going to keep her. And I need those scissors again. But knowing me, as of right now, I have not been that upset, annoyed, pissed off, etc. over a doll that I purchased. I, I just have not... Let's knock on some wood here. But as of right now, I have not been that unfortunate to have any dolls with any issues. So... Hopefully this doll will continue in that same fashion and I'll love her and she'll be on one of these shelves somewhere. Well, let's get this started. Well, I don't know if you catch. Okay, so we finally have her freed from her plastic. As you can clearly see right there, it says A-Zone Original. She is a part of the Iris Collect collection. I did not know that. Um, the only th thing that I know that's different between this new doll and Nishi was the bus size. She has a C bust and Nishi has a G bust. So I mainly got her just to see what the bust difference was. Um, you know, and that was mainly it. Um, let's see what else. She's a part of the Kina's Fancy Romance. Her name is Mylene, I'm guessing. Azone Original Doll. She has a Bee Shine wig. Um, let's see. Here's some more pictures of her on the back. Oh, let's not bend over like that. There we go. You guys can see. I can see and not hurt myself. Gotta lay her down now, you guys. Can't bend that much. So, here are the last two. So, let's go ahead. And get her out of this box. Easy enough. There's Apollo Kitty. And CC over there plotting like always. And here she is. Hopefully I don't need scissors or anything. Wow, she 
She's heavy. I am actually feeling an ache in mid back just for lifting her. Wow, girl. Huh. Let's take a break and see how much she weighs. Okay, so I think this doll is heavier than Nishi. So I got this set up so we can go ahead and weigh her. Just, just having to take lifting her out of this box. There's some weight. Yeah, she is a pound, one pound, 7.9 ounces. So she, she has some weight to her. Wow, my back hurts. But let's go ahead and look at her. Hello, Cece, I don't need your help, kitty. Please move. Thank you. Just gonna do where we replace her. That's business. Okay, we got a brush. Hi, pretty girl. I think we might take it easy tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, Tuesday the 16th. I don't think we have anything planned, so I think we might just sleep in. So I'm feeling a little sore. Okay. Let's stick your wig on you. Wow, you really are cute with those purple eyes. Didn't expect that. So, here she is. I'm going to take her over to the general doll display area. Let's take her goodies with her. I'll bring Nishi too. And see what the difference is. And we're gonna have to take a break. Yeah, but after this, oh, where's that hair, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's move this walker. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so here she is. stand on her own. But let's just leave her there. Okay. So let's turn you off. I mean I guess I'll turn you off. You can't really see her eyes. So there 
there she is. Here are the eyes. This beautiful dress with lots of lace overlay. She has the lace gloves. I really liked her, I'm not going to lie, because of the cross on her wrist. And the one on her joker. Oh, she comes with something else. I don't know what it is. What is this? Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So I need two hands to see what this is. I don't remember seeing her with. Choker thing that goes with the dress. Uh -huh. Look, she comes with an actual cross with like a sapphire in the center. That's really pretty. Yeah, I think you are a keeper. Stand there for me. Um. Let me put Nishi beside her and see what the comparison looks like. So, stay Nishi. Okay. So. So height wise, to me, they look the same. I'm gonna go ahead and get them changed or undress them and see what the body difference is. Cause the doll on the left supposedly has a smaller bust, I believe. So we're gonna take a look at that and We'll be right back. So here are the two girls together. You have Nishi on the right and Melina on the left. So you can clearly see that she is shorter than the AVO to body, which is the body that Nishi's on. She has the G bust. This is the C bust. So as you can tell, the C bust is definitely smaller, kind of like a default in smart dolls. So she has a smaller bust size than the AZO2 body. This one. So, I might have to adjust my patterns to fit her bust. Everything else, so well, actually, and the length for pants. Everything else should fit. But since I can't sew, I can't sit down for more than 25 minutes, sewing is going to be out of the question for a while. So hopefully some of the clothes that I have for her will fit. So we'll get to play dress up. Um, that's all I have for you. Here's the new doll. I'll go ahead and get her redressed. And we'll see how she looks with the black hair and the white outfit. Hey guys, it's been a few days since I started this unboxing of... Ma Malia where's her box? I don't know where I put her box at but we've changed her name to Faith love that cross still in love with it but I've been playing with her and there we go playing with her and Nishi and they've just been getting to know each other and stuff like that so she's out she's enjoying herself but let's finish the last part 
of our unboxing. These got here the end of, well, actually the middle of October. And I'm just not opening them right now. It's terrible. So yeah, these were the hands that someone had for sale in one of the groups. And I had never seen hands before, so I decided to go ahead and order them. Obitsu body, which is basically her body. She has parts in a, of an Obisu body on her. So the Obitsu body hands fit her. Open hand, open hand, she has the loser, as far as I'm concerned, the loser hand or the L hand, if she wants to point, she can do that also. She got that, and we have the peace sign. Now, when I was on one of the other um, Japanese sites that sell A-Zone dolls, they did have another set of hands that I was going to buy. <clears throat> Excuse me. But with getting ready for the surgery and everything like that, I never got a chance to order them. But I'm definitely going to order the hands. Um, I did want to take a look at the... Oh, never mind. When I was looking at um, Faith on, I don't know the actual name of the page, but it's Hobby something, they did a close-up of her hands, and she does have painted nails. See? It's a rollerblade pink color, but she has a really nice manicure that I was going to go ahead and give her. Like I gave Nishi a nice manicure, but she doesn't need one. Um, so that's cool that she came like that. I love them. They're very chill dolls. I like how it's easy to move them. I don't feel that I'm going to break them. Um, let me look at these hands a little bit. So yeah, they have... Um, the actual nail and the nail beds in case you wanted to paint their fingers but I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and paint them hmm, maybe maybe not I don't know it's not like I change hands that often even with the smart dolls I don't change hands too often so I might not get too involved with the hand situation because it's mainly for me about the doll the doll's fashion hair, shoes, things like that. I always forget to include a hand accessory, but I am glad that I got these. So that is going to be the end of our video on Faith. I'm so glad I got her. She's a great recovery gift after, after being in the hospital for a couple of days. She's definitely wonderful so i'm gonna end for now she's the last doll that i have that i know of at least but again with me it's still early so who knows what we will get in the next couple of days i am going to be working in the itsy shop doll lovers design i'm going to work on some holiday sweatshirts, some more of the Coco Girl shirts that some of you guys liked, and just possibly a few new designs that you guys haven't seen yet in the shop. So I'm hoping to start doing that next week when all the other shirts arrive. So that is it for us, you guys. We follow us. We'll talk to you later, and can't wait to show you our next set of goodies.
bye guys